"'Twas the night before build week, and all through the house. Not a creature is stirring, except for the pit bull in the corner who can't seem to get comfortable. <laughs> Good boy. On with the video. Hi, welcome to the 151 Garage. I'm Sean. I'm Jill. <laughs> You wanna, you wanna? Anyway, she'll finish eating what she was eating, her Smarties. Anyways, um, so as stated before, this is build week for the Badlands. The Black Diamond was actually delayed a week, so the build week for that is next week. So next Monday, December 6th. They're really cutting it short because December 6th was the last week to be building it unless they moved some of the 2021s till December 13th, which would be by the end of that week, it's Christmas and you can't push them out any further. So hopefully they'll get them out. Now we haven't received a delay on the Badlands. Knock on wood. We will see. Um, so first off, the Badlands, we're actually excited about getting it. It's actually pretty sentimental to us. Um, for the people who don't know, she, we'll go through it real quick. She was diagnosed with cancer probably about three years ago. And during that whole time frame, Ford brought out the Bronco or started talking about bringing out the Bronco. And at that time, we wanted to order one. Uh, mainly because I wanted to order one for her to get her mind off of what was going on with the cancer and the treatment and how downhill things were going at the time. Uh, she has since actually kicked cancer's ass, so good thing for that. Also, the Bronco gave her something to focus on other than the bad things that were happening. Now, we did have a 1986 Bronco. Yeah. At the very beginning, before she got diagnosed with cancer, we ended up getting rid of it to cover some of the bills and stuff like that, that insurance doesn't cover, mainly loss of work, stuff like that, because we did have to take a lot of time off to help her out, for her to recover. We actually were both out of work for about five weeks during that time frame after her second surgery, uh, which was probably about the worst part. Now, oh, yeah, the double mastectomy. Yeah, it, yeah, it was, that was rough. <laughs> well, that and removing all the cancer, yeah, removing all the cancer and stuff like that. So it was, it was pretty bad. Um, now we ordered that 10, uh, two hours after the Bronco came available after reservations opened. And if you guys want to know exactly how long that was. From the moment this video is aired on Monday, the 29th of November, it will be one year, four months, 15 days, and 19 hours exactly from the moment that we pre reserved our. Pre-ordered, reserved, where you want to call it. At this point, the damn thing better fly. <laughs> it's it's like it's like supercar territory of ordering and waiting that long. I mean, people with supercars don't wait that long. Oh. Hypercars maybe, but Ford Bronco, jeez. Oh, and throughout the whole thing, we were getting kind of discouraged because we were an early one, a, a very early one. In fact, we were under. Which it and left in three hours because the site yeah. kept crashing and then it was full. So I had to wait until there was a window for me to be able to get in there and put a reservation in. Yeah. And when that happened, he was asleep. I woke him up and asked him what card he wanted to any put card, a reservation on. Any <laughs> card. It's $100. Throw it on any card. The, the thing is, we... I mean, like I said, we were getting really discouraged on the fact that it was delay upon delay upon delay. So, I mean, it's just, it was just a long wait. Uh, then all the constraints on it yeah, that we found out. But we had, uh, we held pretty firm on what we wanted. We didn't want to change something to get it earlier. Now we do have a big bend that we kind of bought on a fluke, uh, kind of a mistake because we weren't supposed to get these Broncos. 
uh, the Badlands until probably the middle of next year because of all the issues with the tops and the delays. They actually told us that we weren't getting a Bronco, as you guys remember, with a MIC top until minimum beginning of 2022. And since ours had so much constraints on it, we figured, or they told us, the dealer and all that told us that it probably wouldn't be for a couple months after that. Boy, they were wrong. So were we. So we ended up buying the Big Bend and end up getting a Badlands, hey, you're getting your thing, you know. Not well, great. not only that, but we also reserved the Black Diamond. Yeah, Black Diamond a year later. Which to getting so. it sooner, just to have one sooner with a lot of less, you know, constraints. And yeah. hey, that didn't pan out either. <laughs> yeah, but we're excited to get it and... We hope that a lot of people out there that are have been waiting as long as we have get your Bronco pretty quick. Uh, mine's pretty damn loaded, uh, or ours is pretty damn loaded. It's actually lux leather, everything. two point, yeah, every it's everything that you manual. can throw on, <laughs> everything that you can actually option it with is pretty much what we have. We just loaded it with options. <sighs> And I tell you what, for the people who have gotten your Bronco pretty quick, you know, congratulations. Like I said, we enjoy ours. It is worth the wait. Uh, even the 2.3 manual, we absolutely love it. Uh, we've been working on it. You can look at all the videos that we've been working on it and trying to lift it and do all sorts of stuff. We have a lot of stuff that if you notice our table is clear now, we're going to start putting these items yeah, on the pretty quick. behind the camp. <laughs> behind the camera yeah we're putting these items on pretty quick we want to yeah. get this vehicle done we actually have more items coming that's why we're like well we just got to start putting them on so yeah at um, this point because we had at least what 10 or so more items come in <laughs> amazon is so dangerous it's a drunk amazon buy type thing has a hey what's this click oh shit i just ordered eight things oh, oh well you know, it, it's fine. Did you forget to hurt your cart? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I did buy now. <laughs> yeah. Buy, buy now. I leave stuff in my cart and I, I just go ahead and buy now and or buy the cart. And I forget that I had lights and all sorts of other stuff in there. So we do we do have quite a bit of stuff coming. Uh, as you can, well, for the Bronco or for the big, the big Benz, but the Badlands... That's going to be an exciting thing. We, Like I said before, we can't wait. It is sentimental to us. Uh, we are really excited about seeing it. And hopefully, knock on wood again, it will be built by the end of this week. So, I can't wait. Again, good luck to all the ones out there playing the uh, Bronco Squid Games. <laughs> it's pretty much what it is because you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> You break that cookie, you're eliminated from that week. We did. I guess we broke one cookie and freaking we got the umbrella. So if you guys know what I'm talking about, leave a comment. That umbrella is a pain in the ass. I tell you what, you can't get that. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Nope, not a clue. <laughs> leave a comment down below. I'll have to show her what we're talking about. Anyways, uh, have a good you know good luck for your builds uh please like subscribe hit the notification bell and hope to see you next video bye bye yeah it's good games you know those little cookies they have yeah one's a circle mm -hmm. one's a star right one's a triangle yeah and the other one's an umbrella and you have to you have to break the cookie off without breaking any of the pieces of the center and if you do break it they kill you you're eliminated. Uh, That's why when they see the umbrella, they're like, oh, shit. Yeah. Bronco Squid Games. <laughs> Either that or some blind guy with a dart throwing a board. That might be a little hey, bit Hey, you're good. That's probably more. Yeah. <laughs> Until you hit the guy holding the picture up. That's okay. <laughs> As long as ours is under his hand, that's good.